Welcome to Microsoft Excel Beginner Level Part 2. In this video, we are going to see data manipulation. For that, we need one data set. Now, first, selection controls. In this data set, we have date, order ID, product, salesman, region, number of customers, net sales, profit loss, like that data. We want to select the entire row, then go to first cell then press ctrl shift and right arrow on the keyboard if we want to select entire data sheet then ctrl plus shift plus down arrow on the keyboard need to press now here entire data sheet is selected if i select ctrl plus shift plus up arrow then we again back to the first row Now if I press Ctrl plus Shift plus left arrow then again I am back to my first row and first column that is date. If I want to jump from my first column to the last column in my data set means here A to H then simply Ctrl plus right arrow on the keyboard need to press. Here I jump from my A column to the H column. Now back to the first column again. In this column, I am trying to jump from my first column in first row to the last row. Press Ctrl plus down arrow. So I am on the last row of my data set. If I press Ctrl plus up arrow, then again back to the first row, first column. We can do this for each column and each row. Now let's see how to hide and unhide column and row in data set. So let's see how to hide a column. Now I'm going to select D column that is salesman, which is in between C and E column. Right click by our mouse on D column. Here we have option hide. When we select hide option, D column hide from our data set. So here we can see only C and E is visible. Now in this worksheet, we can see A, B, C and E column are available means D column is hide. To unhide this D column, we have to select C and E column combinedly and right click by mouse on C or E column. Then we will get menu in that unhide option is available. When we click on unhide option, D column will appear on our data sheet. If you want to insert new column in the data sheet, go to the column before which we want to add column and then right click on that column in menu box we can select insert option then we will get new column is added before the selected column now we can see new column is added before the selected column here the important note is new column is always added to the left of the selected column you can delete column by selecting delete option from the menu now the same thing we can do for row if you want to insert new row in the sheet go to the new row before which you want to add row and then right click on that row from menu we have to select insert option new row is added above the selected row here also the note is new row is always added above the selected row You can delete row by selecting delete option from the menu. Now next is how to give serial number to the data set. Now here I am going to add extra column before our first column and type serial number. To give the same format to the serial number, we have to use format painter select the already formatted cell and then go to the format painter option the format painter option is available in the home tab and then go to the cell to which we want to format that cell the cell is formatted in the same format of already formatted cell 
in this data set there is 100 rows this we get from bottom right here is the count is equal to 101 so in this column we are going to type 1 2 3 in serial numbers so here is shortcut to insert serial number after typing 1 2 3 select these all three cells so on the right side bottom we will get black dot double click on that black dot serial numbers are automatically filled in this column means 1 to 100 numbers we will get in this column as our count is 101 which is included our title so our count is 100 excluding our title now from the border option in the home tab you can give border to the column by selecting entire column Now next is add filter to add filter to the row of any data set we have to select row to which we want to add filter go to the home tab and there is a sort and filter option from the drop down select filter option you will see filter option is added to all column of selected row to remove this filter option go to the sort and filter option on the home tab and select the filter option here we can see filter is removed from the row now the shortcut to add filter to any data set we have to press alt plus d plus f plus f on the keyboard To remove filter option we have to again press on our keyboard alt plus d plus f plus f so here our filter option is removed next to sort the data apply filter to the row go to the column to which we want to sort the particular data set in this data set we want to sort north region data so from the filter menu we will select the north the north region data is displayed only in the data set here we have select option all select option is tick untick select option and then tick on the required option in serial number column we can see only north related serial numbers are visible Alternately, you can select the data for the particular region, for example, middle region data in this data set. 